Mafia, Outside, never mind. <laughs> as soon as Winter Davis came into the orbit and into the office, um, he was obviously the right person. He had the right look about him. And they were very charming. They said, read that then. And I thought, you know, Cockney Sergeant Major, she got out loud. And uh, he, said, he said, you're well, she said. I said, well, come back later and uh, we'll sort something out. And David and I wrote a page of dialogue in the sort of Welsh idiom. And I immediately thought of Company Sergeant Megan Morgan of the Welsh Guards, who I met in training. He was a real character, a real toughie, you know, something. And he had the twist, twisted moustache and all that, you know, and the guys. And he, he was my model, if you like, for the first one. But when, he, you see, having been in the army, they're all like that. He read it, it was magic. There's no doubt about it. A battery sergeant major is the best job in the British Army. Croft and Perry also saw that there was more to the sergeant major than giving orders. Developing his softer side quickly became an integral part of the story. I feel sorry for the sergeant major. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After all, he's only trying to do his job, make soldiers out of us all. What I can't understand is, why is he always so nice to you? The idea that, that Parkey, Gunner Parkey, might have been the result of a brief fling the sergeant major had in older shot with Parkey's mum, just possibly this could be his boy. That, that's what kept us from going up the jungle. There must be a way of stopping Parkey's getting posted. I've got it, Sergeant Major, sir. What? Concert party. What? Concert party. It gave us episodes of fun all the way along the line, that. <laughs> Good morning, Tommy, and how are you? I'm all right, sir, and how are you? So the ventriloquist act was added to the lineup. And how are you? Almost. <laughs> Good morning, Tommy, and how are you? Launched in 1974, It Ain't Half Hotman was immediately taken to the nation's heart. Its success was down to a British affection for variety and a good old-fashioned knees-up. But on this side of the footlights, one character was pulling rank and stealing the show. Right, lovely boys. Let's have a look at you. Disgusting! Windsor just came along and grabbed that part by the neck and throttled it. <laughs> it was a fantastic performance, and one quickly saw that he was really the, the star of this show. Windsor Davis developed some of the show's most memorable lines. Oh dear, outside, never mind. Fine pair of shoulders you got there, boy. Show them up, show them up. As Sergeant Major Williams, he had a distinctive turn of phrase, uncomfortably common in the wartime military. <laughs> you was a load of puff, what are you? A load of puff! Now this actually happened with a real sergeant major, and that's what he made a shout out. You are a bunch of poofs. And the 1970s audience just lapped it up. With comedy, get funny people, but don't give them jokes, don't give them gags. Put them in funny situations. Right! Pay attention! Is you listening to me, Gunnar Sagan? Yes, Sergeant Major. 